Now that we are more familiarized with what HTML elements are, let's go and try to understand the uses of the different HTML tags or elements that we have here. If you hear the word root element, this is pertaining to this HTML element tag. We have here the opening HTML element and the closing HTML element tag. So this HTML opening and closing tags represents the root element and it is considered as the top level element in your HTML documents. Remember that all other elements should be inside this HTML element. All other elements will be considered as the descendant of both this opening and closing elements. Permitted content would be including one head element as we can see here in our template, and one body element. If you remember our first Hello World document, and we tried to run this inside of our browser, and we tried to open the developer tools using the F12, we can see that even though the, the text here that got rendered didn't have any HTML elements here in our file here. It still got rendered and automatically the browser created a simple template here that contains a head element and a body element. So those are the basic, very basic template that you will encounter when you are creating your first uh, web document. So I'm just going to undo all of the delete that I did. So you can just use Control plus Z so that you can go undo any mistakes that you've done. Or you can use the undo command button here under the tab, edit tab. Another key note that I just want to explain here will be the default values for the root element. Most of the elements have what we call default values. So if you, you go back to our document here and we have our HTML document being rendered in our browser, you would see that if we click on the HTML element here and we go look up the different tabs here that we have here, we have the fonts tab or the layout tab which contains the initial box model. We'll talk about that perhaps in some future lessons. We have the computed values. We have the changes that we've made. And we also have here the fonts default value. So if you're going to be making use of maintainable and scalable projects or the concept of making sure that you have in your architectural plan when you're creating your web websites, you need to be familiarized with the default values of some of your HTML elements. So at least you will have consideration when you're planning for creating your projects and you would want to prepare it for scalability in the near future. So this is the, the root element is usually the one that we use for changing certain default values so that it will be a lot easier for us to prepare for scalability in the near future. So if we go and look up the default value for the font size, for the root element is 16 pixels and just remember that the browsers has a developer tool from where you can try to go and experiment so you can even change the default values here so you would see that it's generating here an attribute so we'll talk about attributes in the next lesson so we do have here some values for rem em we have percentage and pixels, which is the very commonly used values for uh, displaying content on the screen. So we have viewport height, viewport width. So don't worry about that. We'll talk about that in the near future lessons that we will be having. I just wanted to introduce to you the developer tools from where you can go and experiment in your projects. So you would see that it's changing some of the values here. This will not be affecting the this will not be affecting the main document. It will still be the same. And here in the developer tools you can test out what will be the 
display on the browser once you give them these specific values here right now. You would see that if we go to our document here and we save this because we undo or we undid some of the changes that we've made when we try to remove all of this, right? So even though we've made certain changes here in the developer tools, once we go and refresh this, you would see that it will still contain what is the content of the document that we have here in our main document. Let me just save that and let's go back here and refresh it. You will see that even if I go change this. So this is very good, especially if you're testing out things and you would want to view it live. Then you can apply what are the changes that you've made here to your document here.